Hello, my friends, and welcome to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. So uh, do me a favor, please, and subscribe on my channel. <laughs> it will be great. Okay, so let's start. Yesterday, I just received a big update, uh, the firmware update from Retroid. To check your updates, uh, you just need to go to the settings. And here, the system. And here, you can see the updater. Option. So when you do this, you just press check update, and I already had a new version of firmware system 1.0028. And uh, if you have older version, I just highly recommend you to update uh, the system to the newer version because we have a bunch of improvements that uh, really really great. So the first improvement is uh, overall stability of the system and I had the problem when I was copying some files, some game files from my computer directly to Retroid Pocket 4 Pro via USB Type-C cable. Uh, it was just some mistakes while I was copying uh, big files. So if a file was bigger than 5 GB, uh, it was some mistakes and uh, it's just stuck in some moments. Now everything is great. So as you remember, it was a little problem when you was picking a high performance option your fun just began to be going crazy you know like it was like a sport mode or something like this in a smart mode but now everything is great so if system is not busy and you're picking high performance mode and fun smart mode you will not listen anything because your smart will be turned off and when the system starts to get some uh, get some stress in a big game or so something like this, uh, your fun will start working. So it's a great option uh, for not to use much of your battery here, because when fun is working, it just drains your battery. Okay, great. Another option here, which I like very much, is uh, icon uh, with um, mode of controller. So it's controller style icon, like in AYN uh, Odin and Odin 2. Uh, I like this option because it's very comfortable to switch your controller style just from the top menu. So what you must do, you must, uh, as I already said, you must uh, pick this uh, pencil here and go to the end of menu. And here you can see options that you can add actually to your top bar menu. So you can add uh, your controller style now because in previous firmware it was no option like this and uh, I like that they made it here. So now uh, when everything is done, you can just change with one tap uh, your uh, options to retro or Xbox. On uh, AYN, Odin 2 is also an option to change your controller style to Odin Xbox or just disconnect. If you are playing uh, with a gamepad or something like this, you can uh, actually disconnect your uh, buttons. Not If you will touch it, it will not work. So it's also a great option. But here is uh, just uh, Xbox option and retro option. So Xbox is like a Xbox. Uh, it's pretty obvious and it's like an Xbox controller buttons layout and um, if you're picking uh, retro options so the buttons is like on Nintendo Switch so A, B, Y, X so it's great for playing uh, Nintendo Switch with this layout and for other for um, Xbox style games or with retro games even with uh, PS2 uh, emulations or PS1 emulations I think it's better just to play Xbox controller settings. Also if you had some problems with color temperature on Retroid uh, they just made the possibility to adjust uh, color balance here uh, more intelligent uh, with the manual options so we are going to display menu and also we are picking uh, colors menu and here you can see uh, different options so in standard mode a screen enhancement and uh, intelligent environment adaptation so it's recommended mode now and now you can adjust your colors here in the color circle so we can do it more green or more purple uh, and uh, different 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 colors adjustments i don't know if you can see the difference but i, I think you can so uh, now if you like picture to be a little bit more warmer you just can do it like with your finger 
or uh, you can just adjust uh, colors as you want now and it's it's great option and also they add some styles from android 13 to customize your little papers here so as you can see it was like a gallery and live wallpapers and also a wallpapers but now we have also options select and option wallpaper and style so if you will pick this option so now you can uh, customize this wallpaper and style option and uh, as you can see it's like a purple and I don't really like it so you can make it a blue one and it's it just looks a little bit better also you can make it a different a different colors I like the blue one and I think it's it's just great for this device I don't like purple colors here also now we have options to select your wallpaper just directly from your file system in case if you don't see it in your gallery so if you download some wallpapers on your memory card somewhere in your directories you just pick this select menu and you are going through your file system to just uh, directly manually uh, pick your wallpaper here so when you are pressing on your wallpaper it will just uh, attach to your uh, home screen so now it's attached that's very simple i think it's nice update and retroid fixed some issues and added some new interesting options so now our device just became even better thank you guys for watching i hope you already pressed like if you didn't do that just do it immediately please and let's be a friends, so subscribe on my channel. Also, if you have some questions, you can just write it in the comments. I will be very happy to answer that. So wish you all the best and nice day. See you.